Hello? Is that you, YouTube? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Reed Alcolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. I know it has been quite some time since we have seen each other, but honestly, a lot has been going on. A lot of good things, a lot of good things, um, some of which I'm going to be able to share with you guys very soon. Um, I apologize for being away for so, so long, but we are about to get back into the groove of things, you know, back to regular scheduled programming. Oh, you know, over the course of the time that I was away from YouTube, we actually hit a thousand subscribers and it was the one year anniversary in February for me being on YouTube, which is so crazy. I was really, really, really happy. Um, I really do appreciate you guys subscribing and commenting and supporting my channel. And because of that, I do want to give back to you guys. So we are going to have a thousand subscriber giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a hundred dollars Sephora gift card to one of my amazing subscribers. In the past, like with the giveaways, I've done like product giveaways and then I had to like ship it to them and stuff so that just got kind of tricky depending on where the individual lived so i've decided that um it's best to just do a sephora gift card because that way you can get to choose products that you yourself want to try out and use and you're not limited in that way so yes the rules are pretty simple you have to be subscribed to my youtube channel follow me on instagram on twitter on Snapchat, um, all that stuff is linked in the bio and the full description of the rules will also be linked in the bio. Okay, so look in the bio, look in the bio, click the link, open the drop down box, okay, read it. <laughs> all the rules will be in there, the dates, the times, everything is gonna be in there. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look foundation okay it's a 24 hour wear foundation with uh 1.8 fluid ounces in it it claimed to be a natural finish this is what we're looking at we're going to be doing a wear test of this foundation as well um it's new on the market has 29 shades so i'm excited to kind of see how it does wear out wear throughout the day so that's what we're going to be doing today um, let's get into this so today we are going to be taking a look at the new Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation. It does come in 29 shades. Three, four, five. So there's five out of the 29 for deep skin tone. I mean, I, it seems fair in the way that they partitioned the, uh, the shade range. So the shade I got was Deep Y570. It's the second to last shade. Now this foundation claims to be medium coverage, buildable, um, a natural finish, and it has SPF 25, which is good. 1.08 fluid ounces, and it cost $46. You know what? For, it looks, like look at how skinny this bottle is. Can you believe it? All our other foundations are like so huge in these huge ass bottles. This Fenty foundation, which also has 1.8 fluid ounces. Can you believe that? There's 1.8 fluid ounces in both of these. Definitely a lot more travel friendly and a lot safer. You know, it's on the pricier side for foundations, but foundations are one of those things. If it works very well, I don't mind spending the money on it. If um, I feel like it caters to my skin tone, if I feel like, you know, it's diverse enough in the undertones. If it works, it works. So $46, I personally don't mind spending on a foundation. And it says it's an innovative, medium buildable foundation. It's got 24 hour wear and <laughs> first to market flashback free SPF 25 for a useful look. So this is apparently the very first foundation on the market that has SPF and is flashback free. That's a big deal because everyone knows SPF, Jesus, if you get caught in the wrong lighting, God forbid you decide to wear an SPF foundation at night and have a flash picture taken. It says it contains snow mushroom, which is known for its impressive ability to hold onto water. It's like nature's dupe for hyaluronic acid. So I guess it's supposed to keep your skin dewy and supple. Something else to note is that it was inspired by Mark, 
by Mark Jacobs' Shameless Tattoo. Um, Shameless Foundation is a daily reminder to show your true colors and never apologize for being you. That's kind of cute. I like that. Okay, so, you know, after all the fluff and all the quotes and all the claims, let's see if this foundation really does work. I'm going to be applying this foundation with a brush and with a beauty blender. I'm first going to go in and prime my skin. Let's just use the... I honestly don't plan on having this makeup on for like 10,000 years today. I just want to see if it lasts through my work day. So from 9 to 5, basically. So today I decided I'm going to go in with the YSL Touche Claw Blur Primer. Um, we're going for a natural look, so I might as well let some of the oil seep in. Okay. I do have... I do have discoloration a little bit around my mouth, but I don't want to actually use anything for that. I want to see if this foundation does cover it up, basically. Okay, so I'm going to open it. This is my first time using it. I have not, um, like, worn it. I swatched on my cheek, obviously, to find my shade. Does it say shake? Hold on. I didn't read that part. Okay, so the directions, it says apply generously 15 minutes before sun exposure. Use a water-resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. Reapply at least every two hours. What the hell? Reapply every two hours? Who has time for that? What? I'm now absolutely confused. Apply generously 15 minutes before sun exposure. Use a water-resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. Reapply at least every two hours. Why the hell would I reapply this every two hours? Like, who has time? <laughs> I'm just gonna pour some on the back of my hand. I feel like that would be a pump or a pump and a half, right? That looks, that looks about right. So let's just, I mean, let's try it out. So, yeah, this is very warm, like very red. This is coming off, it's reading very, very red on my skin. So, I mean, let's see. My problem area is around my mouth, so let's see what happens here. This definitely um, blends into nothing. I will just let you guys know that right now. Oh my god, it's so warm. It's so red. It's a really nice finish though. I, I can definitely understand why they said it's a natural natural finish. Like if I had just freshly applied moisturizer onto my skin, that's the, that's the kind of finish I'm getting. Like really hydrated, um, definitely youthful. I can see why they called it shameless youthful. However, in terms of the undertone, I'm not really rocking with it yet. You know, I've seen worse, but I'm not really 100% here for it yet. Now, it does say at the back, apply generously, so I think they knew that this was, you were gonna run through this quickly. I don't think this was meant to be one of those products that you just use one pump and go. You're supposed to use a lot of this. So then, if I'm thinking about, you know, it being cost effective now, for $46 and the fact that I have to apply literally half the bottle every time I use it, I don't know. We'll see if I think it's worth it at the end of the day. So now I'm going in with a beauty blender on this side. Wow, it's definitely very red on me. But then again, my undertones are straight golden olive, so a lot of things appear very warm on me. You know, my skin doesn't look bad. It looks really, it looks radiant, it looks youthful have gone a shade up because I have to go in the yellow series because there's Y and there's R. Deep Y570, which is the shade I'm using, has very deep with warm yellow undertones, okay? Then the next one is Deep Y500. Um, so there's Deep Y500 and then there's Y570. That's such a jump. Like 500 to 570 is a huge jump. There's no way I'd be able to use um 500 way too light for sure for sure i mean i'm not mad with the way it looks but for what i'm bothered by is the undertone range the undertone selection in the deeper darker section there there really isn't much variety so i can tell i look a lot warmer in my face now granted like my face and my neck are darker than my 
chest, but I can I can tell that this is a lot warmer. So I'm gonna have to unfortunately balance it out with um, concealer and things of that nature. I can definitely see why they said it's a self-setting foundation. You know, it doesn't look so bad. I feel like it's adjusted. I don't know. You know, I really wanna like this foundation. I have been looking for a new foundations to use. I actually went back to drugstore foundations because I'm tired of using Fenty. Not that it's a bad foundation, I'm just, I wanna use something else. I like the finish so far, so let me go ahead and apply my concealer and everything else and see how it all balances out. I am going to be going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. And for contour today, I just went in with the Fenty Foundation in the shade 490. I'm using my fave, the Patrick's Powder um, by Patrick Star and MAC Cosmetics. Yeah, so what are you guys excited to see? I know we, I haven't been on here in a long time, especially with, um, a ma have I even done a makeup video this year so far? Yes, I did. I did the um, Kylie Jenner concealer review. Oh my god, one of the worst things I've ever tried in terms of color range and undertones. Jesus, that was so horrible. It sucks because sometimes products don't work out, and I do get sad when products don't work out. I know I said it in that video too. Okay, I'm going to do my brows, my eye makeup, and all that stuff off camera, then I'm going to come back on camera and we're gonna finish up this video. All right, so this is the makeup look completed and I took my hair out. Um, on my lips today, I am wearing the Fenty Beauty Freckle Fiesta. It's slowly growing on me. It's very bright, but it's slowly going, growing on me. Currently, the time is 9.20 a.m. and I can say with everything finished, I think it looks okay. Like, I'm not mad at how the finish is of the foundation. I'm not mad at the shade anymore. I think because I balanced things out with my concealer and with the powder a bit, um, everything kind of tied in nicely together. I will say it is very comfortable on the skin. I, I don't have any complaints as of yet and hopefully I don't end up having any complaints so I can actually recommend this product to you guys. We are going to go throughout the day. Um, I'm probably only gonna wear this for no more than nine hours today. They said this foundation can last up to 24 hours, but we're not testing it for 24 hours. All right, so that's that. Let's get on to the day, and I will see you guys very soon. See, Belle. Are you going to do Tell me, tell me, what do you think about my face today? When you asked me, when then I couldn't tell really that you were wearing makeup. She said that until... she couldn't tell, she, like, because I had my glasses on earlier, and she said she didn't know that I had makeup on my face, right? Right, until so, I came closer. Until you came closer, and so overall, you would say it's what, like a bomb? It's bomb. Okay, Beagle but describe, envy. describe like the look, like. Wow, I just smooth. It's smooth. Does it look like my skin? Would you say it's natural? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so she says it's natural. It looks. Say hi to the two. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Zadriana, how, how do you think my uh, my foundation and everything looks today? I think it looks very smooth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like very clean. Mm -hmm. How I pop it. Yes, okay. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like that. You had it on for how long? It's been three hours now because it's 12.30. It is now 7 o'clock. Um, I really have not touched up all day. This foundation is holding up very well and it's still super, super comfortable. Honestly, I love the natural finish. I have to agree and I have to say that this definitely is a natural finish foundation. It's very comfortable, even though I set the like I did set the foundation, you guys saw it. But it looks so nice, like really nice. Moving my face around and it's really comfortable. Um, 
I don't know. I'm I'm here for this so far. I think I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and wear it just a little bit longer, just to kind of see if I get um more oily or anything. I'm getting oily, you know, in my T-zone area and everything. But and I took off my lip color. But yeah, I'm gonna wear it just a little longer and see what happens. Just looking at how everything is, I have to say this foundation is really good. I would, I think I would recommend this to anyone who is looking for something that's medium, medium buildable coverage, um, something that you can wear for a really long time. I have to test it out with a few more primers just to kind of see um, what works well. I didn't wear it with, um, you know, an oil control primer. I wore it with a smoothing primer only, the YSL Touche Gloss. So. Um, with that being said, I definitely would recommend this. This gets two thumbs up from me. Um, it is on the pricier side, but I think it's actually worth it. It really lasted and held up all day long. So, yeah, I hope to see you guys very soon. All right, that is the end of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this um, episode of Regret or Rebuy. Let me know what you guys thought about the foundation on my skin as the day went, as we went throughout the day. Um, let me know if you guys have tried the foundation out yourselves and if you do like it, what you think about the shade ranges, uh, what your hopes are for the future when it does come to Marc Jacobs Beauty and Marc Jacobs products. Um, I am interested, so comment down in the in the comment section down below don't forget to enter the giveaway as a well okay do not forget to enter the giveaway do not forget you can check out um, another video I will leave that right here for you guys to click and enjoy um, I hope to see you in another video very soon until then stay blessed and stay golden